I'm Anu Prakash. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A family is fighting to keep a 16-year-old boy alive after he was declared brain dead. Titus Cromer Jr. is scheduled to be taken off life support tomorrow at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. His family's attorney filed an emergency motion in Oakland County Circuit Court Friday to stop that decision. The hospital says it is committed to helping the family in every ethical and legal way possible. GM's Detroit Hamtramck plant is expected to resume full production tomorrow. That's according to the automaker's website. It also says third shift should report tonight at 10. The United Auto Workers ratified a new four-year contract with GM Friday, ending a 40-day strike. Talks included saving the Detroit Hamtramck plant, which was set to close in January. Inkster will be providing water filters to people in the city who want them starting tomorrow. State regulators tested 30 homes last month and four showed lead levels in the water over the acceptable limit. Filters will be available at the Dozier Recreation Complex on Middle Belt Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday from 2 to 6 each day. Now for a check of the forecast, send it over to 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Hey, Anu, this afternoon, decreasing clouds and the winds will also be getting lighter throughout the day. 60 degrees for a high today. Tonight, we dropped about 41 degrees, but most of the clear skies and the wind will be much lighter tonight and through the day tomorrow. And tomorrow looks like a nice day for Monday. We'll have highs around 60 degrees. Tuesday in the upper 50s, chance of rain Tuesday evening, Wednesday evening, and again Thursday evening. We may see more rain move in. Highs around 50 degrees Wednesday and Thursday for Halloween, and then a little colder with highs in the mid-40s by the weekend. All right, thanks, Kevin. And Ace Hardware in downtown Clawson is expanding in unexpected ways. Plans are in place to build 31 high-end apartments on two floors above the store. There will be a mix of studio, one-bedroom, and two-bedroom apartments. Construction is set to begin in the spring and could take up to two years to complete. Ace Hardware will remain open during construction. Those are your headlines. Make sure to visit our website, WXYZ.com, and our app for news anytime. Have a great Sunday.